Hi, welcome to the video. In today's video, we are discussing about get notified when an item in entry level reaches to the minimum quantity. You will get notified using Power Automate flow. So today we are going to discuss about how to create a Power Automate flow to send the notification in email when an item quantity level is reach to the minimal level in business center so let me showcase how to create this power automate flow and get notified in email you can connect the power automate use make dot power automate dot com this is the website you can connect for creating your power automate flows From this menu, you can click on this create and you can select automated cloud flow. We have different automated flows and we have instant manual flows. Based on your requirements, you can choose here the different flows. I'm using automated flow for this particular requirement. Here, you should enter your flow name. Here, I'm entering the flow name as Minimum inventory notification. In email, this is my flow name. And here you should select a trigger. I want to use Business Central as my trigger. The base application I'm using the Business Central. So I am using this trigger. You can search for different application names here. Then you will get related triggers. Now we have different triggers from Business Center related to Business Center in Power Automate. I am using this when a record is changed. This is the trigger I am going to use for this particular automation flow. Click on create to creating the Power Automate flow. Now, the flow has been created. You can see the name here. And here, you should select the environment, the business center environment. I am selecting the business central sandbox environment. And I am selecting the company in sandbox. Kronos is my company. And API category. Based on these different API categories, you can get uh, different uh, exposed APIs from the basic applications like business center from the table name here we want to check the inventory level of an item in business center and we need to get notified in email so definitely i'm you want to select the table as items this is the items table from business center and i want to add next step now we have connected the business center as a first trigger and next step I want to get the item data from business central in this power automate flow so i added this next step and here again i am connecting the business center you can search the application using the keywords here i want to connect the business central and i want to get record i want to get the record from business central for the item so again I want to add my sandbox environment and my company from this sandbox environment and the API category. Still the table name is item because I want to check one of the item inventory level. So again, I am selecting the table as item and the row ID. Row ID, you can select the row ID from the dynamic content so the raw id is the system id of the business central record now the second step has been created and again next we need to check the item from this item table so i'm adding next step again in the next step i want to check the item from the item table in business center so I am adding in control 
and I am adding a condition. My condition is the item is equal to 1908s. This is the item from business center. Here you can see 1908-s. This is the item from business central and I want to check this item's inventory availability and want to check whether the inventory goes to minimum level I want to get notified. So first as a condition I am checking the item name item number sorry item number 1908 this is the item and if this condition is satisfied if yes I am adding another action again it is a control and I am adding the condition here my condition is inventory quantity I want to check the inventory quantity these uh, fields uh, table fields you can get from this dynamic content value you can simply set it from here and my second condition is the inventory value is less than 10 okay if you have multiple conditions you can add from here for my case in this case I want to check this is the item I want to check the flow needs to be checked whether the item ID is 1908S and if this condition is satisfied again I want to check whether the inventory level of this particular item is less than 10 or not. If this quantity is less than 10 I want to add another action. My next step is I want to get notified if this condition is satisfied. What is the condition? The condition is inventory level is less than 10. If this condition is satisfied, I want to get notified in my email address. So as is next step, I'm adding Outlook email. Here you can get Outlook plugin and here the step is send an email and two email address you have to enter the recipient email address and the subject in a bump inventory notification this is my subject and my email body my email body is item which item I have to select the item number here this is from the table which we have selected the item as Terry and from here I will select inventory and the base on top measure also I will add into this email body he is and minimum this is the email I need to receive when this item squared in reach the minimum level less than 10 quantity so now we have added all these steps if this condition is not satisfied there is no action I need to taken care only I need to get notified when this condition satisfied. So I put action into yes. And I don't want to take care if this condition is not satisfied. So I am just keep this no part is blank. Now we have added all these steps and I am just click on this save button to saving this power automate flow. Now this flow has been saved and here you have an option to test this flow if you want you can test this flow from here now i want to check the business central for this particular item quantity level now this item have 11 quantity of inventory our condition is when the item inventory level is goes to less than 10 we will get notified in email so i will create a sales transaction 
to reduce this inventory level for this particular item just adding the line and 8 hyphen s and i am putting a transition for for quantity posting this sales document ship and invoice now we have posted a sales transition for this particular item and we can check now this item stock level is nine, 7 this is definitely less than 10 quantity so we will get an email notification as per the flow now we we'll come to my flaws you can see all the flaws which you have created you will get the list from here and from this flow you can see the status now this flow is running because there is a transition happened in business central for the item and the inventory level goes to less quantity. now click on this all run you can see the status you will get the date and time for this when this flow is run last all histories you will get all the run history you will get from here and you can see the status now it is a succeeded you can click on this date and time you will get all these flow steps has been successfully completed and once click on this each steps you can the inputs taken and what are the outputs you you can click on this show raw input you can see the input in code and in the fields you can see all the inputs based on the flow which we have created the item and as we all the information is taken from business center table and you can see the output body also so from here you will get the status and the history of run history of this particular flow and all the details you will get from here and you can see in the email you can see i have received an email notification minimum inventory notification the item this is the particular item as inventory seven pieces is at minimum level so likewise you can create the power automate flow and you can automate the process in business central or any of your business applications and different business applications nowadays connected with power automate and you can quickly create the power automate flow without doing any programming or any coding you can simply add different steps and you can add different triggers and actions and you can connect your business applications and you can uh, add the conditions and you can uh, do the actions as notification or any other kind of uh, available actions you can put into your power automate flow so this is the where you can create a power automate flow and you will get notified in email when an item inventory level is goes to minimum level in business center so that is in this video if you have more queries or if you want to discuss further about this you can reach out to me through the email or the whatsapp number as seen in the screen so that's it in this video thank you for connecting and watching this video